So I've been told this is normal, but like, holy shit, that's not too good, man. That looks, my arms look flipping huge, but like that does not look too good, man. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be taking you over on my laser journey. And the main reason why I'm doing this is there's not, a, there's a lot of laser videos out there, but there's not a lot of laser videos out there made directed towards men. And I think nowadays in the wave of men taking care of themselves and fitness and all that, it's very important and to share this because a lot of men want to get laser done and a lot of people who have gotten laser done and posted videos about it their hair is not always thick whereas some people have thicker hair like me myself i have thick hair i have a lot of hair so i thought this video would help and I'm hoping that through my journey, maybe it can help you decide whether you wanna take this route or not. And I haven't gone through it yet, so you're gonna be seeing everything through my eyes and I really hope it helps. And I hope you're able to learn. And I'll, tell, go, I'll be going over the cost of it, of all the sessions, single sections, and my hair, my, how, how it affected me, the pros, the cons, and all that fun stuff. So stick around and enjoy it. And let's kill some hair. Okay, everyone. So I had my first session done. And I just wanted to go over how it worked for me. I didn't get to record inside or before. I just wanted to get you my honest thoughts right after. I didn't want to take the camera inside because it was my first session. I was kind of scared. So I'm going to go over it. So going into it, I was, I had a consultation meeting before. And then I went in for my main meeting where they did it. And they were really professional and everything went smoothly. But going into it, when I was walking in, I was really scared. I'm like, it's a laser, right? So you don't know what to expect. And people always say stuff you just gotta if this is truly something you want to do and you feel that by doing this it will give you more confidence it will and by getting laser moving your hair it'll give you more confidence then i think you should absolutely do it However, the thing I have to if you do do it though, I'll so the first session went like this for me. So I went in, I had shaved the day before everywhere that I wanted to get my hair my laser done. So where I was getting it done was my arms, my shoulders, my backs, and my upper chest which I will be going more in depth into into the into future video into and I will be going into more depth into the process of before and after after it is uh, in in later on in the video so basically before my session I cleaned off with a razor all those places and then I I didn't put on any lotion or any type of cream before 20, 48 hours before the session. As well, I also did not go in the sun 48 hours before the session. When I went into the session, I they had me lay down on the bed thing that they have. And then they set the laser settings and went through doing putting on the gel and going through it and the first setting they had it 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 just feels like was a good way of putting it's like a rubber band hitting you basically but in where hair is thicker i noticed that it hurt more 
it was also ticklish at certain points like my lower lats got ticklish but other than that it was pain free basically nothing went wrong it took me so the session was scheduled for an hour but it took maybe like The session took maybe like 15 minutes around that. So it was really fast. And for my next session, I'm going to be going over more in depth on what I'm doing to get ready for it. Okay guys, I just finished up my second session. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go somewhere quieter and film this. Okay, so overall, I'd say the session went pretty good. To be honest, from the first session to the second session, I didn't see much of a difference, but the lady said that the back was looking better so that's good but the second session overall went just the same as the first not much changed i didn't see much of a difference from the first to the second but hopefully the next one i'll see a better one otherwise the pain was still there was no pain there was a bit more redness this time but i didn't feel anything really otherwise so i'll keep you updated okay guys this is for the laser appointment i have my third laser appointment tomorrow and i just shaved for it and i realized that the hair was is getting is was easier to shave which is a good sign that means the hair got lighter so um i'll keep you posted and we'll catch you after the session we are back so little update for you guys so just want to start by saying so um, our last laser session happened and we booked another one. What happened after that was we went back into lockdown for many months. And when we did, when laser places were allowed to reopen, the place I was working with did not open back up. So I had to switch over. So now I'm going to a different place. And I just had my first session there, fourth session total. It was a painful one. This place was definitely more painful say at the least but it felt like it was working more i'll give you guys an update video after i finish talking but yeah it was i have much more redness as you will see just hold on you really want to see what happened but yeah hopefully it goes away I'm not too worried she said it's fine it's normal so i will give you an update on what happens a couple days after Quick little update for you all. Still looking pretty bad. It's been a week, exactly a week now. Okay, so it is nearing the end of December. I wanted to just end off the video. Basically, quick summary. I'm not doing laser hair treatment anymore. In total, I spent around five hundred dollars on it didn't in the overall i didn't see too much just because being me i am a very my hair is thicker and darker so it would have taken a lot more sessions for it to be gone and i would have had to keep doing it so that was one thing number two the incident that happened that was also frightening so i'm gonna wait until I can get someone really, really professional to do it. And number three, I'm also going to wait for when I have more money so I can hire the professional and afford to keep doing it. So yeah, overall, I'm not doing it anymore. 
and asked for the burn marks. Yeah, I stopped going to the lady. It was definitely not normal to have that. So if you have that, it's not okay. She said she's done to other people too. She should definitely not be working. Yeah, so basically I stopped going to her after the first session. I asked her for my money back and she was kind enough to give it back even though she did cause quite the problem but not much I can do since I signed the contract but yeah it took a while three weeks for it to be like not noticeable as much but even now I still have some patchiness marks which I hope will inevitably go away but given the fact that it's been two months and I still have a bit they're fading away slowly but it's not 100% yet it's much better for sure so yeah if you're planning on getting it I would just say do your research make sure you're going to the right person and also only do it if you have the money to sustain it unless of course you don't have a lot of hair but if you do and you're watching this because you have hair like me it is very gonna be expensive and lengthy you're gonna have to do it for your whole life so think about that so number one make sure you have the money to keep doing it and do it in the first place secondly find someone that is good at it and yeah that's my total journey with it and yeah i think i'm gonna end out the video there i hope this helps you out it was a really vulnerable position of me sharing this like i was in a lot of stress when i had those marks so i hope i can help others with this and i'm gonna end it off there so like and subscribe and I'll be po posting out new content every week. So I'll see you in the next one.